too. SPCA volunteers say it was a really upsetting scene today after a truck carrying hundreds of turkeys overturned on Route 220 in Henry County this morning and stayed like that for hours. They were headed from North Carolina to Harrisonburg. Only about 60 of the 600 or so turkeys survived. James Girardi was on the scene today and has this report. I don't care if these animals were on the way to the slaughterhouse. I don't care. They don't need to die out here slowly on the side of the road. The smell was accosted us the minute we got out of the car. It was horrendous. Just imagine if you were in a wreck and you laid there for four and a half hours and you got no help. And that's what these animals are going through. This should not happen in today's society. It should not happen. The driver of a tractor trailer that flipped on Route 220 survived, but for hours his cargo, an estimated 600 turkeys, were left smoldering in the sun. We called the Henry County SPCA, which rushed to the scene with animal control and rescued those they could. All right, one down! But as the day went on, slowly, one by one, the turkeys began to go. They've been here since 7 o'clock. They are dying from heat exhaustion, nothing more. So most of the animals are alive in there and they need to be retrieved. All animals deserve to die in a humane manner and this is not humane. The owners of the turkeys, Circle S Ranch from Monroe, North Carolina, showed up five hours later. Their tactics were hardly the same. One guy, he threw, you know, threw one turkey in and it just fell out of the road and he just picks it up and throws it back in again. It's just... I mean, I know, they, you know they're going to be killed eventually, but it's, it's just it, it's not humane to do it like that. And so cheers turned to tears. And hours later, a small fraction of what was living in the truck came out alive. I know these are meant for the, the dinner table, but normally they don't go through five hours of suffering before they die. James Girardi with that report. State police say the 45-year-old truck driver was charged with reckless driving as for the surviving turkeys. They continued on their original route.